guys having a good time? Yeah. One more time for comedian. Yeah. Yeah. So keep this shit going, ladies and gentlemen. Co-producer of the show, Mr. Richard Asperger. Sexually gratified in bed too. <laughs> Sir, imagine the egg on my face. Holy cow! I had no clue. I had no clue. But I thought I knew what women wanted. I thought they wanted someone like me, tall, dark, handsome. Yeah, that's not a joke. <laughs> Holy shit! I say that she starts laughing. Like, He's not tall, dark, or handsome. Turns out my wife feels the same way. Because when I told her that same thing, I said, you know, I'm like the Don Juan type. You know what she says? No, you're more like the Don Knotts type. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. Somebody has in the past. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, boy, it's good to be here, though. Um, have you, how many of you people have been to the Ice House before? Woo! A lot of you guys haven't been here. Do you guys know how many legends have played right here? Legends in comedy, right here on this very stage. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld, right here. Robin Williams. Robin Williams, give it up for Robin Williams. Give it up for Robin. You know who else? The inventor of the two drink minimum. That's right, Mr. Bill Cosby, right here. I think he's got a pudding pop for you. But, I swear to God, but legend has it, legend has it that he knocked him out that night. Hey, I, I, it's legend, I don't know. Oh my God. Hey, for those of you guys not familiar with me, my name's Richard Asperger. You guys are laughing? See, these are jokes. It's not a joke, it's my name, for Christ's sakes. Uh, Richard's bad enough, right? It's bad enough. It's got that nickname. You guys all know the nickname. Go ahead, shout it out. Fuck you guys. Fuck all you guys. I was thinking Rick. You just called me Dick. You guys don't even fucking know me yet. You call me Dick, just like that. Holy crap. And then my last name's Asperger. Dick Asperger, what the fuck am I, a gay fucking restaurant? How would you like your fucking Asperger, sir? Pound it with everything? I don't know. Oh my God, Dick Asperger. Did you guys know Asperger was a syndrome? I was like the last fucking person on the planet that knew that. For years, people would come up to me. Hey, are you on the spectrum? I'm like, fuck yeah. Uh, cable, basic, and, and uh, the internet. I had no fucking clue. You know, I'm old. So the first thing I Googled was, uh, okay, the first thing I Googled was porn for about three years. <laughs> then I Googled my last name. Alan's in the house. Uh, the second thing I Googled after porn for three years uh, was more porn, actually. What can I get for you, No, I Googled my name and it came up, Growing Up Asperger. My name's Mandy. Man, what the fuck did I do with that man? I thought they were following me around when I was a kid. It's a syndrome. Asperger's syndrome. Holy fuck. 
You know, and I hated that name as a kid, Asperger. You can imagine, right? You know, when they get to, I remember being a kid, they go, is there a Richard? I go, here. <laughs> Don't say that name. And then I, I started pronouncing it like I was French. Asperger. <laughs> Bonjour, oui, oui, Asperger. Yeah, that didn't go very far either. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I, anyways, Asperger. Uh, I remember being a kid in school, man. And on the first day of school, they go around the room and they want to get to know you a little bit, right? And the teacher's holding that attendance card and she sees my name, Richard, and she goes, is there a Richard, a little dick here? Jesus Christ, bitch, it's got a head like a parking meter. Uh, 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 holy cow. She wanted to know what my dad did for a living. I told him he was doing three to five, but he got out on, he got out on good behavior. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. My sister, she hated her name, too. School was rough on us. Because in my family... Uh, uh, nobody went to school, right? I mean, everybody was a bunch of juvenile delinquents. My dad was an armed robber. And uh, so when my sister went to school, she really had this complex, right? And, and it was worse when they would do last names first. That's true. They'd go, Asperger, Patty? <laughs> oh, she fucking hated that. <laughs> It's true. I mean, fuck, man. I feel so bad for it. And then what they would do, the boys always wanted to hide their people in their buns. Uh, I know. So they wanted to share their secret sauce. <laughs> Excuse me. She got married when she was 15. I swear to God, my parents signed a consent form for her to get married. She just really wanted to change her name. It's going to sound like a joke, but it's not. She married a guy named John Cakes. Now she's Patty Cakes. I don't think that was a good choice. But coincidentally, Mr. John Cakes is a baker. Now she's fucking Patty Cakes married to a baker's man. I always wanted, I swear to God, I always wanted, like, I'm up here telling you my name is Asperger, right? That's a fucking weird name, Asperger. I always wanted like a famous one in my family. You know, a real famous Asperger, so people would go, hey, are you related to LeBron Asperger? <laughs> That's right, I am. Yeah. All I got was my grandma. You guys might be familiar with my grandma. Grandma Kisma. Kisma Asperger, anyway. <laughs> Ah, you know, Grandma Kisma, bless her heart. Grandma Kisma was voted three years in a row best meth cook in all of Antelope Valley. <laughs> to this day, when a, tra uh, a tweaker does a line of meth up in the Antelope Valley, just like Grandma Kisma used to <laughs> You know, they gave me the light, and we're kind of on a schedule here. I wanted to share something very important with you guys. Uh, I've been doing comedy about five years. And you to take the pandemic in, you know, not so long. But I got a fan letter, a real fan letter from someone that said, uh, you know, God, I saw your show the other night, and I'm so proud of you and so happy for you. Continue on. And that was a thrill. I swear to Christ. True story. Like a week later, I get an email, a hate email, that said, I hate your guts. And I can't wait to spit on your grave. I was like, fuck, when did Grandma Kisma get learned how to fucking send emails? <laughs> hey, you know my name's Richard Asperger, and that time went quick. Follow me on Instagram.